With the dust settling in the wake of car manufacturers ceasing vehicle production in Australia, the automotive manufacturing sector has had to recalibrate. But positive signs are emerging. So in 2019, where does the industry sit? There are now 300 Australian companies operating up from 260 in 2015 with a combined annual revenue of $4 billion and nearly 10,000 people employed across the industry. Post-vehicle manufacturing, a shake-up has seen existing companies pivoting into new markets, skilled workers starting new ventures and a shift from lower margin volume operations towards a more innovative startup mentality. The average business produces parts and accessories for four types of vehicles, but with nearly endless enhancement potential. It's no surprise four-wheel drives are the most common market for manufacturers, ahead of passenger vehicles, light commercials and performance vehicles. Although Australia remains the core customer base for automotive manufacturing, the export market is an important part of business and growth potential with 70% selling products overseas, up from 65% in 2015. New Zealand, the US and Europe are the largest markets, with South America seen as having the most growth potential. Combined industry export value, $640 million. Priorities for Australian manufacturing businesses include new product development, new technology investment, R&D, new market exploration, and hiring more skilled labour. The biggest challenges to business growth include the strength of the Australian dollar, general economic sentiment and rising utility costs. Importantly, however, sentiment is healthy amongst business owners and managers with nearly all expecting revenue to grow and over 80% believing their export volumes will increase. With renewed optimism and market adaptation, the automotive manufacturing sector is positioning itself for future success both in Australia and international markets. For further information, contact www.aaa.com.au.